Gananoque is a tiny town of 5,200, but it's home to a major hockey talent. At 15, Alan McCauley is ahead of his time. He's an underage junior with a gift for the game. I'm a fairly good skater. I can move the puck fairly well. A good playmaker, I guess you'd put it. Um, other than that, I'm not a natural goal scorer. I work hard for my goals. Basically, that's one of my biggest assets. I'm a hard worker. At 5'11", 190 pounds, he's a big boy for his age. His legs are fine, so his skating is strong. But Macaulay's working to build his upper body so he can keep up with the bigger boys. I find that the OHL is a very strong and physical league. And I feel if I don't build myself up strong enough to play in the league, I'll find myself falling behind. Even though he's an underage prospect, Macaulay will definitely go first overall in the OHL draft. There's no doubt. Uh, we've told uh, the other teams that are waiting to find out what we were doing. I said, you go ahead and make your own plans. Uh, Alan McCauley is just what the Ottawa 67 need. Just as McCauley inspires Brian Kilray, so too does Mario Lemieux inspire him. The Magnificent One has been McCauley's idol ever since he scored the winning goal in the 1987 Canada Cup. I just watch him for inspiration to make it to the NHL because I find myself a little like him in the way that he was, when he was young, he had to go up through the higher leagues, he had to progress himself at a higher level or a faster speed than what other players have to. Well, if all goes according to plan, Alan McCauley could make the NHL by 1995. That's his ultimate goal, and it's obvious he's working very hard to try to reach it. Just in the next month alone, he'll be attending two underage evaluation camps and one of Mario Lemieux's hockey camps in Montreal, or better yet, Las Vegas. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Gananoque.